are back on Cabo Bayan today and because summer is here, we want to encourage all of you out there who have children to encourage your children to pick up a book. And we have the author and the illustrator of these two books here on our show today. Uh, we suggest you get a copy of this book. Titus, where can they get a copy of your books that you wrote and illustrated? You can get it on my website, www.tirasbonifacio.com, or on your local bookstore, like Barnes & Noble and Amazon. Wait a minute. You mean to say you can buy this at the bookstore, at those really big, reputable places? Yes. That deserves a high five. Yes? yes. <laughs> That's a big deal, Titus. Don't you think so? Yes. Yeah, I mean, do you have any other classmates that have books that are out in Barnes & Noble? No. Okay. This is a very big accomplishment. I can tell you're very humble, but I want to say as a parent, every parent wishes that their child can achieve something just like you. So that's that's really good. Thank you. I'm sure your mom is very proud of you. Yes, she is. Okay, so uh, I asked you this before we started the show, but I'm going to talk to you about it again because I am a mother myself. Uh, having a Filipino mom, is she very strict with you? Yes. Okay, so what are the things that she makes sure you have to do? Do you have chores that you need to do before you start writing and drawing? I have chores, all like clearing the dinner table or doing my laundry and taking out the trash and like that. And then I would also need to stay up on my grades, so it would be uh, good for my application for college. Okay, wow, already thinking about college, only 13. You can never start too early. Um, Titus, I'm a mom too, and I know my kids always tell me, Mom, I just want to watch TV. But you know, they have to clear the table because growing up in the Philippines, uh, we would just leave our what we ate at the table. But we're here in America, and no one is going to pick after you children, so you have to pick it up and bring it to the sink yourself, right? Yes. And uh, did you mention that you do your own laundry? Yes. You do? I do. Okay, who taught you how to do that? My mom and my dad. Okay, cool. Um, that's really good. I know chores seem like something that you don't really want to do, but everybody has to do it, right? And because it's the summer, kids, if you're watching, your parents really appreciate it when you do do your chores. But going back to the topic at hand, we're going to be reading this chapter book. I'm impressed. Titus, this is like over 200 pages. How long did it take you to write this? It took me two summers to write it. Okay, and then what is this book about that's different from the first book that we read earlier? It's the sequel to the book that's full of nonstop action that will keep the reader turning pages. And Landon is a boy that everyone admires, that will strain the values of friendship, forgiveness, loyalty, courage, and respect, while saving the world with bravery and tendency. Okay, so let's start our excerpt reading from page 202. Um, and we're going to start with the reading. We looked at his watch monitor. He looked at his watch monitor again. He saw that the whole city of Tak was almost in ruins, and he had a hard time finding his friends. In a very, very strange part of Tak City, Jamie crawled over the dirty, abandoned area and was trying to find Pistachio. She was bloody, her face covered with dusty, dirty fur. She tried to push herself up while looking for her friend. Pistachio, where are you? Her voice echoed. Why is it so dark in here? She said while touching the ground, looking for signs. She couldn't see anything. Okay, so that is just um, a small excerpt reading of the sequel, also called Landon, the Superhero of the Worlds. It's book two. And uh, you can pick this up from his website, TitusBonifacio.com. Yes. Right? But you can also pick it up at the local bookstore. So make sure if you're at your Barnes & Noble, you can ask them for, um, you just tell them the title, and then they can order it for you. Uh, so how has it been like so far, especially in school, when people find out that you have two published books? They would always be surprised, and uh, they would never expect such a, a teenager like me to write a book. And whenever I would show them my books, especially the second book, they would be amazed how much I've spent my time on because this is, like you said, over 200 pages. Yeah. Okay. So, um, is it safe to say that you want to be, you want to continue to be a writer as you grow older? 
Yes, I would like to continue it. And right now, I'm currently working on my third book entitled Dracus, and I can't wait to share it with others. Okay, so he, uh, we'll talk about Dracus when we return here on Kababayan today. Uh, he'll give us details, maybe talk to us about what it's about so that we have an idea, okay? We'll be right back here on Kababayan today. Kasama pa rin natin si Titus Bonifacio. Don't go away.